Well, hello friends, this is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail, a British campaign continuing on in the Steam version, Beta Branch. And the next battle is a doozy. Grand Hiver. If you, you want to read this, you may. But this is a tough battle. They've got um, five Bel Bellanona, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, five Bellanonas in here. And that is just plain too much. I mean, really. And it's a fight to the death. So, I mean, either you you win or you die. I mean, it's just as plain as that. <laughs> like it's a fight to the death. Now, I know in these first three ships, there's going to be four ships here. And I'm going to have to put what I consider my best ships. So this one's got 500 on it. This one's got 405. And I guess I'll go with the 350. Now here, <laughs> I'm going to put in like, this is just unreal. Um, all right. Grenna 2. Grenna 3. Grenna 1. Grenna 4. Now, this is a fleet of fire ships. That's it. And they're going to come in last in the battle when the three... Um, Bellanonas come that have 650 on each of them. There's three and there's two over here that are going to come. And they'll fight us for a little while but then they're going to go link up with these three and it's going to be a five pack of killer ships that, like, I just can't believe it. Like, I, they need to scale this down or something. I mean... I'm not playing under a hard campaign. I'm playing under a normal campaign at this moment. I already played a hard campaign. I didn't record it. But anyways, you're just hearing my discussion about this battle that I'm having a difficult time with. Okay, so anyways, now over here, I will put in my, my last fire ship which I question about maybe I should sell this and and put this one in make this a fire ship so it can you know hang in the battle longer but it can't so this because this one gets blasted a lot and sometimes never even hits its mark so you know I've failed with this ship many times um not hitting its it's it, you know not being able to deliver but anyways okay so now I need to put in, uh, put in uh, this 350, and I can go with the 300s, or do I have, I have 328, oh wait, 345, and then 300s, 328, yeah, I guess I'll go with 328, okay. And that'll complete the, of whatever that's going to happen. All right, so, well, let's do it. Like I said, I, I, I am just shocked at this. Like, I'm not even going to read this because it, it just takes away time from me. It All it is, it's telling you that, um, you know, you, you're going to have to fight. And if you can win, uh, it'll it'll be easier later on. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, the French in the Atlantic in the future, like, yeah. It's not going to happen. All right, so we're going to pause here. Sorry that I'm having such a hard time with this, but uh, this is an extremely tough battle. Now, I did put my best ships here because I knew there would be four here, and I won't be able to catch him. So I'm hoping I can catch him. So we're going to break these guys from a line, and I'm going to go ahead and turn him 
Oh, I just want him to casually turn. And while he's doing that, I want him to try to get him, and I want him to shoot. Yeah, okay. This one's gonna come this way. He's gonna shoot him. He's gonna get him. So he has to go over that way. This one has to go over that way. And this one can go that way, and meanwhile, he could be shooting at him. And while that is happening, I always put them in a line, and uh, the thing that I'll mention about it is that the problem with that is whatever the slowest ship is, that's what they're going to be going at. And it's going to take them forever to get into the battle, and that's already going to happen anyway, but just because of where these guys are starting out at. But anyways, let me get back to you now. i got to try to... Yeah, see, now he's overrunning me, so... I think what we'll do is we won't try to capture him. We will just try to cut this one off. And you'll capture that one, I guess. Okay. I mean, I would like to get some of these. But if I have to sink them, so be it. The only problem with um, sinking a ship is that the crew comes off and can rejoin another ship and make it stronger as, as far as personnel go. And um, so this is why I would kind of rather take the ship over. So if I could get two of these. Like, okay, so I will get that one, even though now it's damaged. Maybe I can get this one. And this guy has got to get moving. Alright, so we did get him. So, 40 will be the minimum I put on. And I want this guy to get moving. I want this guy to roll over there. Yeah, all right. Okay, so now I should be able to take this one out. I've got to anchor him. Alright, I would have at this point really would have enjoyed if I could have got three of them right off the bat. So, you know, by only getting two of these, not ideal, but it'll work, I think. So this part, like I wish we could save in a game when we, we uh, get to a certain point, but... Alright, now we got this one, and it looks like that is the only thing I can put on them, so alright. So now, and these guys, we need to just get them out of here.
Okay, so now we have these two to deal with, and then these giant Bellanona class uh, ships are just terrible. So they're making their way into the battle, and my guys are too far away. I mean that one is going at nine knots. What about what about this one? Eight, nine. And this one nine. So yeah, I mean that that's fairly good and we're not totally with the wind. All right, so go ahead. I'm just, uh, like, I pause it once in a while because you have to try to get your bearings on what has happened in, in the battle. Because if you don't, there are so many variables and things that can happen that, uh, you know, you'll end up losing something and you won't even know why. So, so my point, I got to get him over there him there and then this one needs to get over there because if we can take these two guys out it'll make the mission a little bit more better Who's on a fire right now? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, my ship is on fire.
Man, it's taking so long. See if we can hit his rudder, probably not. See just the way this always happens, like you know, I guess I could start him but see they only let you have three ships here and I need those. He never gets to to get in the right maneuver. Like, I don't know if he's going to come around this way. No, he's not. Okay, we got one of their escorts out. Alright, I just gotta get barons what's going on here. to try to send any ship that I take over like I already I took one over and it already sunk but oh well but this one got a lot of health on it so that's good
All right, so now we got to look at for just a moment. We got to see how. Oh, these are just coming into the battle right now. So I don't have any control over them. Boy, this is a tough battle. Man, I didn't get one of these yet. <laughs> this guy is almost gonna sink. You know, like like I said, uh, you know, on Iron Sight, I would say that sell this ship and make another uh, take one of those ships that are like a six rate and turn it into a fire ship because these little guys, these cutters or these little sloops, they just Un unless you know like I said like say we had the wind and they were going against the wind and they're coming straight at us you can then send him in and you can take one of them out but the way this worked out there's just you know it's no way I could have lined it lined him up and he's about to get you know either give up or just sink so you know I mean it's it's a little Disappointing, I guess I can say, of the way this is going. But yeah, I think I'll uh, have him go that way. Have him come around this way. And we'll have to see what they do. Thank you right now. Let's see if can you squeeze through here. Uh, probably not. It takes a little while for him to anchor. Uh, hang. All right, you move over here. That means I need you right there. Yeah, because if they're going to come at me... I need to make a little blockade. Yeah, see now I think that, what are they doing? Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm um, going to try to take out that ship's mass.
see, while this is going on, like, uh, <laughs> I gotta make sure that my other ships are getting into the battle. So let me see. Boy, this is a tough battle. I'll, I'll, I'll just say it. Gotta get over here somehow. Okay. So now, uh, where are these guys going, right? You ask yourself, like, they they look like they're going across the border. Are they going in the right direction? Where Where is the... All right, so they're coming in. Okay, so I only have control of these guys here. Yeah, they're, they're still coming, so... All right, now... And I'm sorry for the confusion here. It's just that um, it is so... You want to make sure your ships are not going to go out of bounds. And you want to make sure they get into the battle. Now, these three I am sending out of here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't. I can't quite. Like, yeah, here's the enemy right there, and then my ships are over here. They seem to be going this way now. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that they're they're headed to here because you know if they go out of bounds or something like i don't know how that's going to be so all right this bat this battle is very um tough I Can't get him to break. Yeah, and he gave up. Okay, well, all right. You know what?
Okay. You know what? I don't care that I'm going to lose my ship. As long as I put that one on fire, I'll put them both on fire. They want to... I don't care. They're going down. Yeah, see, they took it over, so they're gonna, they're all gonna die. I lost that ship anyway, so I'm just gonna write it off. It's a shame he didn't go close enough and got on fire, because then that would resolve that problem. He's going to try to capture me, but I want to... I'm trying to get him to go with the wind and get away. And I think if I can do that... I'll tell you. Like I said, you know, and I, I don't understand where these ships are going. <laughs> I am I am totally confused. That's okay, them leaving. Yeah, these ships are okay to leave because they, they don't have anybody on them and these are three that you capture, so I mean, they can leave the battle because they're not worth anything. If the moment you, they shoot at them, they'll surrender and they'll get their ships back. So, okay, now I they got those coming up. And I got my fleet here, um, seeing if the AI will come after me, but their intent on going after this one and somehow I cannot link up these ships totally lost I have no problem finding that okay here where can I go right here all right now look
Yeah, see, the wind is going this way, so it means... It means that the whole fleet has got to go this way. To somehow link up with my ships here. That's what it... Okay, so they're all trying to link up together. So if I speed it up a minute, just see what happens. Because they're, yeah, they're, okay, now these guys are cutting over to go after them, it looks like. But these guys are intent on getting him, so. So now I'm going to go back to normal speed. And this this one's job is to So you go off that way. Okay, so one of those ships uh, retreated. Okay, so now this Grenadier's job is to take out this lead ship. Now, we're going against the wind, and he's going to turn and blast and... Let's try to go with the wind and get faster. Get up to seven knots. Now cut in, cut in. And execute. Now this one's got to go over here and you are going to have to go off that way. That one worked out. Now I gotta get these two. Over there. And maybe I can turn this one this way and get this ship. 
with these guys coming over here and matter of fact maybe I'll try to turn him like we're going against the wind it's not gonna go good but yeah I'm just trying to work this out as best I can to try to survive oh no 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 that's not gonna work he's gonna go into my ship and get mine on fire darn it yeah see I already goofed up it's gonna cost me a ship no, maybe not. Whew, that was close. Alright, so you're gonna have to go that way. Whew, that was close. Why don't you help him on his way to Davy's locker? Okay, now you can now turn, I think. Oh, good, his sails went down, so now he can't move anymore. Good. And this is tough. Yep, and now he's going to go around this way when... <laughs> ah.
Okay, so I'm going to try to get those guys on there, but he's blasting them. He might end up killing them off. Oh man, he missed them. He missed them. Oh boy, that is close. That was close. This is a, oh yeah, my ship is eventually going to catch on fire because he, he's able to continue to move. <laughs> oh gosh. I mean, if it happens, oh, oh, good, he lost his mass. Good, good, that's good. Oh, Grenna, over here, please.
Oh, yeah, yikes. That's a lot of firepower. Come on, I want to get this guy over there. Come on. No. All right, maybe you can squeeze through there. Alright, so what I gotta do is I gotta get him to get on that ship. Please get on this ship. And you get back on our ship. Come on, hurry. Now you can go right over there and finish him off. I might try to use this one to block this one so I can get this one over there to take him out. Now, if he tries to board me, you know, then it might not work, but... can't go on that ship so maybe he can go on that one oh he's boarding me no nope, can't have that happen nope I cannot have that happen let's go come on come on come on break it Man, he won't break. He won't break. Break it. Break it. All right, then, heck with it. Okay, that's fine. I'll lose that ship, too. I mean, I don't care. I just want this over. This was a very tough battle so you know I'm gonna lose but you know uh, it's the price I pay for doing such things and besides my Navy was too big so I can look at it that way too Th you know try to look at a silver lining or you know uh, you know something positive out of the experience I mean this was a fight to the death and you have to just do your best to uh, get through it. I mean, like I said, uh, like I said in my hard campaign, like I said, I only had five ships. <laughs> I mean, towards the end of the game, I mean, only five ships. So, you know what I mean? My, I had 20 to start today, so, you know what I mean? <laughs> That was way too big of a navy. I was at a negative, so...
this was the best way that I could uh, do this. Is to bring, you know, five fire ships to this battle. And it didn't go really according to plan because, like I said, I lost two of my fifth rate ships because they took them over and I decided to just set. But it allowed me enough time to get the fire ship to it. And just the way that the wind went, like it was going that way at one way and now it's going this way. What happened was, you know what I mean? Like my, I couldn't line up the ships correctly uh, to, to do anything that I wanted to do. Like they wouldn't line up right because you're coming from way over here, you're coming from over here and you're coming from over here. And they only let you have three initially to fight the four. And just the way this was designed, having five of these Bellanona, if I pronounce it correctly, forgive me if I don't, uh, Bellanona class ships. I mean, five of them at 650 each. And I only have two um, third rates in my whole Navy, only two. And they put five in here. And you have to fight to the death. Like you, you have to, you have to defeat them. And you see just the sheer power of these ships. Now this is an interesting thing. Oh yeah. Okay. I was going to say this would be an interesting thing if they got on a burning ship. I mean, I would laugh like, you know, this would, this would uh, make me totally laugh. Hey, let me see if I can get this guy on the, on this. Yeah, they won't get on it. Can you get on this one? Yeah, so I lost two fifth rate ships. Uh, I think at least two fifth, fifth rates. And um, that wasn't according to plan. Get on there. I just want this guy to get on the ship and then I'll end that mission. And where's Bangor? Oh, it's going on. Oh, and he was supposed to try to get on him. Oh. All right, well, let me see. Yeah, I got it, so I'll just finish it. Don't matter. All right, so, um, jeez. I don't even know what to say about this. Okay, I will put this up on the internet, so cause I got to get past this, but um, for a normal campaign, this was way too harder than what it should be. I don't mind on a hard campaign, because, you know, you got to expect they're going to have higher class ships all the time. But five Bella class ships, they had 4,555, 604 guns and 11 ships. I had 11 ships, but of course five of them were fire ships, so those, you know, are not that great to have. I only had 320 guns and 3,000. And I, I lost 2,000. It cost me two, you know, just about two thousand. I mean, that is quite a cost. But I need to get my navy a little bit smaller anyway, so that's the positive that I can get out of this. So anyone that was Grena is a fire ship, regardless of you know how many they were had on there. So of course those will always be destroyed. So you know sunk um, this ship 28 gun and this ship a 46 gun got sunk destroyed was the 78 gun ship destroyed was another 78 another 78 another 78 another 78 so yeah those one two three four that's five look at this 650 650 650 650 650 650 I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't see, a, you know, any other way of doing this particular battle at this point. Like, maybe I'll play an easy campaign and I'll, and maybe we won't get five uh, of these 78-gun ships. Like, I have no idea, but 
this 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 particular battle is programmed with five of these which was you know tough so yeah okay so yeah look at I lost my it looks like yeah I lost my two my 68 gun and my 78 gun ship so yeah they they captured them and I had to set both of one of these and one of these on fire so yeah I lost my I lost my two third rates so I don't even have third rates in my Navy anymore yep I, I lost both of them oh well. so I wonder what that means for the rest of the campaign <laughs> <laughs> by not me, by me not having those two, like it, it would have been okay if I lost two fifth rates, but I lost two third rates. That was these two, sixty-eight and a seventy-eight equal to them, I guess. But yeah. All right, so that's what that was. Then I captured the twenty-eight gun. I captured the twenty-eight. So these I can turn into fire ships if I want. All right, this one survived. That's a fifth rate. And I captured this 40 gun, and then this one was light damage, light damage. And I captured this 44 gun ship. And Portland survived. So yeah, I had a few ships that survived, but they were the fifth rates. I would have rather have had this, these, but it's just the way this battle went. Like, I mean, I, I guess, you know, you can play this as many times as you want to try to get the results that you want. But... You know, and I could try this again, but again, um, the way the wind changed in this battle, which they warned you about that. When before I played this battle, it, I read a note that it, it warned you of this, that the, that the weather and the wind is going to change and stuff like that quite often. And that can change the battle one way or the other. And... So that's my speech, and, and I just gave you a summary of all the ships that were in the battle. And surprisingly, it looks like no officer really died, but, you know, and the goods. And so I get two 28 gun ships, and I get a 40 and a 44. So these are probably fifth rates, and, and these are probably sixth rates. And I don't even know if I have enough rep to get any of these to replace the ships that I lost. But like I said, we'll have to see. We'll, we'll go ahead and end this. But yeah, that was a mess. I mean, I thank anybody watch that, that want to watch this and see somebody struggle in it. <laughs> so anyways, like, like I said, you know, like I'm going to put it up so... You know, I, I share what I do, so, you know, good or bad. But, you know, I got a victory, but at what cost? So let me see here. Uh, the first thing I should do before I do anything, this was called Grand Hiver. All right. Yeah, so I saved it. So that way, whatever changes I make, I can go back and load and then make more changes. So, Because if you look here, now how did I end up with 500? I guess when, when you lose those ships or something, they dump them here, I guess. I don't know, maybe. And I got 47 and... Okay. Well, that was Grand Hiver. I mean, I won the battle, but at what, you know, you have to judge what cost it was to do what I just did. So I know that I wanted to put my next points into when I upgrade ships because it is so expensive to upgrade a ship especially a bigger ship so I'm gonna dump that there and that'll give me 15% upgrade costs 
And I think my next two points will go in there to get me up to 25, and then I can then put upgrades on my ships, maybe. So now it's a matter of repair. So I'm going to repair that. I'll repair that. I'll repair this one, 1,000. 800. Got a couple of trophies. Couple of trophies. Yep, so okay, well let's let's take a look and see how many ships do I actually have in my navy. I have four transports. Only this one has guns. And you can see my what I have. I have an artillery unit, a supply unit, supply unit here, uh, artillery there and there, artillery, just infantry. And they're not all up to where I would like them to be, but yep, so that's those ships. I can put one more unit in, but I don't even know what the next battle is, so I mean, I'm not even gonna, or I don't remember. And I don't know if I need infantry, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, so we got four transports. And let's see, we have how many warships? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine yeah wow so i had 20 and now i only have nine so let's look at the cost Fifteen thousand for the fleet eleven thousand for the crew and they even charge you for your reserves Seventeen hundred dollars for for just having some reserves sitting here. And look at their intelligence, their dexterity, dexterity, strength, perception, willpower, endurance. That's you know good stats right there. Not too bad. All right. Well, let's let's see though. All right, so I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and max this ship out. And it's not costing me anything. Because I'm using re these reserves here. And it didn't change any stats. So, yeah, I mean, I only have fifth rates now. So I'm going to have to max them out. And I got to use up those reserves because it's costing me $1,700 for them just sitting there. So yeah, I'm going to max him out too. Now here I lost an officer. Alright, so now the question is, should I... Should I put, while I have the money, yeah, that'll save me 150 pounds or whatever. And then because those guys have been trying to board my ships and taking me over and stuff. So I'll put a boarding kit on, and that's for now, I'll leave these two alone, and now we're going to see how much can I, I can get to 390, I'll do it, and on top of that, so now we're down to only 42 uh, reserves, and it's not really allowing a cost because of that, so that that's really nice. I always go with my morality. Or morale that way they can fight 
longer, but anyways. Can't do nothing more, and you know, I don't want to waste all the money. Okay, I'm gonna max him out too. I mean, this is if I'm gonna have a smaller navy, I'm gonna have to make sure that either. I don't know if I can max this one. No, I can't. As far as that one goes. Oh, I can't. Right, 379 is the max I can put there. But I, I'm doing that only because, like I said, I don't have any third rate ships. So I got to max every fifth rate ship that I have out to even stand a chance at the next battle. And even then I might convert. Yeah, I think I will. Um, I got to make sure I have enough money to convert. Two of those ships, at least. Overloaded. Okay, max you can have is that. Alright, fine. Alright, well that's that. Now we got Fresno here, and I think you're already maxed. You're already maxed. Okay, good. So I got some money to play around with. I'm going to put here after harbor and this way I could load again if, if this isn't going to work out. So now we've got 40 guns and we have like the 28. So I'm thinking it'll cost me 30 to unlock two of these. And that's the cheaper way of going. So I'll go... And, I, and then, of course, you have to repair it, but that's 600. Oh, well. And I'll repair it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these guns. And I'm going to put explosive barrels up. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to find some officers. Now we got a couple of commanders here, but I think I'll go with Lieutenant. And maybe I'll, do we have any? Yeah, look at these are all reserves. Oh, okay, well, I'd rather have just a couple of midshipmen in here. Because after all, these are fire ships. I don't want to waste a good officer, right? And I think they can get up to about... Oh, and I won't go reserves. Okay. Uh, oh, we're out of those weapons. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll give them these junk weapons because we got a bunch of them. Oh, wow. We can get up to... Two fifty two. Wow. All right, and I'll do the same to this one. And a lieutenant. 
All right, well, these I got, so sub-lieutenant and a sub-lieutenant. And it's zero cost, because they're in my reserves. And we established that they can do 240-something. That's 252, 6,000. All right, 252 and yep, 252. All right, so Call it Grena One, and I will call this one. Grena Two. That's just a, a way of me knowing that these are my fire ships, and um, that gives me two. I have 17 left. And it's going to cost 20 but I will sell it. And I have 21 and I, oh, not, this one costs 30. What is this one? Oh, it's a fifth rate Diana class. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna sell it only because it costs me money to keep it and I don't have 30 to get it anyway. So we're gonna just clean up the Navy. All right, so this is it. And I think what I could do is make one uh, one infantry unit, or should I make another supply unit? Because if I have three artillery and I only have one supply, that can get eaten up. So I'm wondering if I should make a supply, another supply one. All right, so that'll give me two supply wagons, three artillery, or should I say two artillery and one of these is a mortar. And then it would be a matter of cleaning up and, and getting more troops loaded into here. I mean, these are just the minimums of what I could afford at the time and or just clean them up a little bit. So I think uh, that will be that. I really do. I, I did my point there. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not going to do tech for now. And so overall, as a summary, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so I used to have 20. I got 15 ships total. And the cost is fleet 17214 and crew 1638 total on um, minus three. Okay, so it looks like from what I earn or whatever it is, I'm um, minus 352. I do have 12,000 12, here, but you can see it's a red marker down. So I'm actually not making enough money by um, $352. So I think, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm at the very limit of what I could possibly have. Like I'd have to, and, and, and that's why I turn two of these into fire ships because in the next battle, it's a sea battle, I believe, and I will definitely use these two um, in it. And so then I'll have two less ships and that'll bring the cost down. But anyways, 
So what I will do now is I will just save it under the harbor because I'm happy with what the changes I made and I don't have to reload it. And that will be that. So anyways, folks, yeah, um, that was very tough. I, uh, <laughs> you're going to get my opinion that that was really tough. I mean, wow, five of those ships were tough. Those 78 gun ships. But... I found a way to get through it, and I did, and so I'm going to be moving on in the campaign. However, um, I want to let you know that I wish everybody a great day. Take care wherever you are in the world. Be kind to each other. God bless you in your own religion. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If it helps one person, then that's good for me. This is Jeff, and I am signing out. Adios, amigos.